What's up, everybody? Master Reactor here, and today I have a replay. First of all, we will check out, um, let's see, what, how many have I won in a row with this deck? It looks like I've won quite a bit on the ladder. I don't really know, but I have won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a row. Have not lost. Wait, eight, nine, ten, eleven win streak on the ladder. Eleven in a row on the ladder. That is fucking crazy. But I lost these three. And the only reason why I lost these three was because I was playing the Dark Sage deck. So that's the three I lost. So if I would have never been playing Dark Sage, I would have literally been so fucking high right now. Like... It would have been ridiculous. I would have never had them losses. I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That would have been twenty in a row. But instead, I got eleven in a row. So I'm streaking. Not really streaming as much, but we are streaking over here. Like I ain't got no clothes on. Like I'm butt ass naked. I'm telling you, this is fucking crazy. I've won this many in a row. So, um, yeah, that's pretty nice. We will then check out to see what place I'm in after all these wins. I should be in first, but I'm not just playing. Not in first. I think I'm in, like, top 50, I want to say. Maybe better. Not sure. Oh, yeah, 53. So, really um, sucks that I'm not higher after winning that many in a row. But it's fine. We'll get there. I haven't really been playing as much, like, even though you've seen a lot of those. But I only play about three to four matches a day, probably. And then I get too tired, or I get bored of it, and I just stop. I tried to play with the Dark Sage deck, and every time I called heads, it went tails. So that really pissed me off. But that being said, let's stop talking about the bullshit, and let's get right into it. We're playing against Blazed and Dazed. And this is a pretty good match here. He almost had me, not gonna lie. And I top decked my way out of it. He damn near came back on me. Pretty good. So let's just see what happened, though. See what the gameplay went down. He's on, like, a crazy, like... Dimension Fusion, Turbo, Return Deck, I guess you could call it. I don't really know, but it's similar to mine. Not really, but... So he won the RPS, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he got the RPS, so he gets to go first. This man's got Torrential, Sakuretsu Armor, Zaborg, Tribe, Jinzo, and BLS. So his hand is not that great. He decides to set Saku and set Tribe. Now this play right here is really bad because... Breaker the Magical Warrior just shits on you instantly and you go Nake 2. Just saying, we're going to start out by just criticizing this guy's play right here. If it was me, I would have just set Torrential and just passed. Like, that's all you could really do with his hand. Why would you set Tribe here? It makes no sense at all. I just don't understand it. But anyways, I have Book of Moon, Trap Dust Shoot, Torrential Tribute, Deco, and Heavy. So let's see what I decide to do. So we'll go to the next play. And I draw into a Faith here. So I decide to summon this Deco. And I go right into battle. And I just try to swing into his tribe. And he uses Saku. And decide just to book a moon, my Deco. Just say screw it. I just felt like doing it. Which I probably shouldn't have because I had this torrential. Probably should have, but eh, he would have probably Jinzo me here, so. I don't know, but it happens. So I decide to set Dust Shoot, set Torrential, and just pass. He draws into a Solemn Judgment. So I hit him with this Dust Shoot here. And decide to put back the BLS. Because I feel like that's the most problematic card right here. Jinzo does suck. But I do have a Book of Moon in this graveyard that I could do something about. And I feel like if I put back the BLS here, he's going to try to summon this Zaborg here. And just go for this Deco because he doesn't want me to draw again. And he's not going to summon Jinzo. So that was just my read. So, and sure enough, that's exactly what he does. And I just hit him with the Torrential here. Boom. Did waste my Book of Moon. That sucks, but it is what it is. He sets the Torrential, sets the Solemn, and passes. I draw into a Spy here. So I fire the Heavy Storm. He Solemn Judgments it. So now I just know it's Torrential sitting there. So that's why Dust Shoot is just so damn good. Even going second, Dust Shoot is pretty busted. Unless I like to set the whole hand. And it's pretty bad. So I decide just to set Faith, and I just pass. He draws into Breaker the Magical Warrior here. He summons Breaker. And he goes to battle and swings it to my Faith. And I decide just to grab Book of Moon, because I feel like it has more value than the Heavy right now. 
and then I draw into a knock, which is pretty decent, but unfortunately, I could just set, probably should have just set the spy and just passed and let him just sack Regenzo and run it over. But I decide just to go for the summon spy here, see if he torrentials, let him go neg even more. He says no, and I just go to battle, and then I book a moon him. And now we're pretty much even on card advantage, and I have a knock for his monster, so it's pretty decent. He draws into an exiled force. He summons the exiled and pops my spy. I'm okay with that. That's fine. I draw into a Sangin, which is a really good top deck here. Puts him on a four-turn clock, and I know it's torrential, so it's like, what are you going to do, buddy? You got to torrential the Sangin. And I go right to battle. He does not torrential it. He takes the 1,000. And I just pass. Hey, he draws into an MST, which is pretty dead. He sets the MST and passes. I draw into a Knight Assailant, which is pretty okay, I guess. I go to battle, hit him for another stack, putting him at 2k. Two more turns. I decide to set knock, and I just pass. He in face hits me with the MST. Okay. Gets my knock. He top decks in a DD Warrior Lady, which is a really good draw for him here. So he just banishes my Sangin. I take the five. I draw into Sork, which I cannot summon because I know this is torrential. Otherwise, I would have just had game here, but I decide just to set Knight of Sound and I just pass. He draws into Premature Burial here, so I'm just like, okay, I'm fine with this. He fires a Premature Burial, and he decides to get Exile Force. I guess he thought this was a Faith or something. I'm just like, okay, that's fine. And he pops my Knight Assailant, and he just passes. I top deck into Tsukiyomi, which is not that great, and I literally just pass, I think. I don't even set it. Yep, I just pass. He draws into a Thunder Dragon, which is dead, because I know his other card. I know he has Jinzo on Torrential now, because of Dust Shoot, so he's in a bad spot. And now it's my turn to top deck Breaker, and that is the game, because I'm going to summon this Breaker, and he has the Torrential here, because he'll just die. And he's like, okay, I got him, and then I just banish a Dark, banish a Light, and boom, I get him. He top decks into Smashing Ground next. I was his next card, but it doesn't really matter because that is game one. So we go on to game two here. Game two, he kind of sacks the shit out of me a little bit by like drawing into a, well, I don't want to spoil anything, by drawing into a card and we do like a little battle. Like he dust shoots me, I shuffle my deck. I don't remember if I shuffled, so I shuffled again, but he already dust shooted me. So why can't I just shuffle like three, four times? Like it doesn't really matter. Then he shuffles his deck when he shouldn't have shuffled his deck, draws the card, puts it all back, puts them all back, draws again, like, Cheating like a motherfucker. Like, I know there's a log to see if I shuffled or not, but it doesn't really matter if I didn't do anything after you dust shooted me. What's the point? What's the point of if I shuffle two, three times? It's the same exact shit. It's all random. What he did is completely cheating. So, but let's see what happens here. He cheats the shit out of me this game. So, he's opens pretty damn good here. Of course, he's probably going to win. He opens Kaiku, Dust Shoot, Mobius, Blade Knight, Graceful, and BLS. Just like pretty much the god hand here. Like, he's just missing a Thunder Dragon. He decides to not wait for the Thunder Dragon and just fire this Graceful. Like, just a terrible player. And, of course, he draws into the Thunder Dragon. So, that's pretty damn funny. He draws Torrential, Thunder Dragon, and Pot of Greed. So, it's like, again, just everything you need. He discards the Blade Knight and discards the Thunder Dragon, which is god-awful again. Why would you not just discard Mobius? Now, you just have a dead Thunder Dragon in your deck. So, you pretty much just have to get lucky as shit now. He pot agrees into another dust shoot, which is really nice, and snatch deal. So it's like, all right, the man's got everything. He summons Kaiku and just ha and sets two dust shoots and passes. Now, this is what I don't understand either. I draw on a duo. He hits me with a dust shoot, and I don't know why he didn't just dust shoot again and put the BLS back. He decides to not do that, which is god awful to me. Like, I guess he didn't really care about the BLS and he wanted to save his dust shoot, I guess, but. I just hit him with his duo here, because I really have no other option. I pick his Mobius, and this is when it happens, when where I told you. Because he did dust shoot me here. I did shuffle, but I didn't know if I shuffled or not. So when I play this card destruction, I shuffle again, just to make sure I did shuffle. And then he cheats a shit out of me here, and draws into Spy and Thunder Dragon. And then I shuffle again, he shuffles, draws another card, which is cheat as shit. He's like, oh, just to, I, I say just to make sure. And he's just a fucking asshole and says there's a log or whatever. But it doesn't matter. If you dust shoot at me, 
I can shuffle three, four, five times the same exact shit. I'm not cheating. You're cheating by drawing an extra fucking card. And now look what he does. He says, you did. Why did you shuffle? Like it fucking matters. You still dust you to me. I can still shuffle after the card destruction. It's still random. What you're doing is completely cheating. You had no right to shuffle at all. Like I just said, I want to. He said, I want to shuffle too then. And just be a cheating fucking bastard. So he gets me this game. But I'm glad I got his bitch ass in the last game. Because he's a straight fucking cheater. So then he puts both of his cards back. Shuffles again. And draws like a fucking big fucking cheater. Pumpkin seed fucking eater. Um, he draws into Zaborg and Thunder Dragon again. Which I think is pretty fucking funny. So he gets punished again for just leaving the Thunder Dragons in his deck. Like a straight fucking dumbass. But he gets lucky in this game and gets me. It's like, woo, it doesn't matter. You're god fucking awful. Like, you have to literally have, like, a fucking miracle to beat me game three. Like, you're just fucking bad. I don't even side that game three either because I'm just like, this guy's fucking terrible. So I summon Breaker. I smack into his Kaiku here. And he's literally just dead here. Like, he has no way of coming back. He has to get lucky as shit in order to come back. And I just pop his shit. He literally has a Thunder Dragon as a board. Like, he has to get extremely lucky just to even beat me this game. So, and of course, he draws in the tribe, which is pretty fucking lucky. So he discards Thunder Dragon, get the other one out of his deck. And then he summons tribe, discards Thunder Dragon, pops my breaker. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Hits me for 16. I got Kaiku, so I'm looking decent. I draw into my Thunder Dragon, but I have two in the deck because I'm not fucking terrible. So I discard both Thunder, Dra I mean, Thunder Dragon to grab two more Thunder Dragons. And now he's literally just top decking here to come back, or he would have literally just been dead. I summon Kaiku, run over his tribe. Probably shouldn't have banished here because I would have probably won if I didn't, but I didn't know that he was this terrible to be playing Dimension Fusion. So that's why he won this game, but all because of Dimension Fusion. If I would have just not banished anything, he would have not been able to done anything at all. So he decides he draws into Premature Burial, which is a really good top deck for him. He thinks if I do have his Regeki break. So he fires the tribe, I tell him target, and it takes him forever to tell me, and I hit him with the Regeki break, and I draw into Heavy Storm, so I go to battle, hit him for 1800, and I do banish again, because again, I don't think he's god awful, we be playing Dimension Fusion, but of course he is, and he draws into a Kaiku here, he slaps it down and crashes into my Kaiku, which really sucks. And I draw on the Sinister, which is pretty dead here. I set the Sinister on the Heavy and pass. He draws into Faith, which is lucky as shit. Straight top deck here. And I draw into a Zombira. Now it's funny because he started with Pot and Graceful. And he literally has got no advantage at all right now. Like, it's just, it shows just how bad this dude really is. Like, but he top decked into fate for the win. So I decided to tribute my Sinister for Thunder Dragon. Just in case like he does any kind of anything. And I don't really want to summon Zombira yet. I'd rather just wait for something under 2k. He gets a spot of greed back with fate. And just passes. I pass. He draws into Chaos Sork, which is lucky as shit. He pot agrees into Dimension Fusion and Brain Control. Which again is just lucky as shit. Just straight sack. And instead of banishing a dark and light, he just shotguns the Dimension Fusion. Which again, is just god awful to do. Like, at least just drop the sword first, put it in defense, or put it in attack mode. See if I have anything here to stop it. Like, I mean, Torrential here, he just gets shitted on and we're just going to a different game state. Like, he just gets completely shitted on. But he gets rewarded, so I just scoop here. For the Dimension Fusion top deck. If that wasn't the case, he probably would have still got me this game. So it's all good. We go to game three. The guy's a big fucking cheater. He thinks I cheated because I shuffled again when he dust shooted me. So it doesn't really matter. I could have shuffled ten fucking times. It wouldn't have mattered. So Karma got his ass. Let's see what happens game three. I completely just shit on him this game. Spoiler alert. So let's see. I open... Pretty decent here. I got Sangin, Deco, Book of Moon, Duo, Upstart, and Spy. So I fire this duo. He's got Pre, Snatch, Thunder Dragon, Kaiku, and Deco. I fire the duo here. And I pick his Snatch Deal, which is a great target there. And I get his Kaiku. And he throws out Kaiku. I Upstart into Knock, which is really nice here. And then I decide just to set Sangin. 
and set Book of Moon and I just pass. He draws into a Solemn Judgment, which is fine. He discards the Thunder Dragon. Mm. He sets his Deco. Okay, make sure it's still recording. And he sets a Solemn and just passes. I draw an MST. Now I could have just fired this MST and draw face here, but I just I probably should have done that to be honest. <laughs> but he's so terrible that it really doesn't even matter. So I decide to flip the Sangin first, and I hit him with the knock. And he does not solemn judgment this, which I don't understand why he wouldn't. Like you want this deco to go off here. Like I don't understand why you don't just solemn there. That makes no sense at all. Because now you're literally sitting here with two hundred dragons and a premature burial. But okay, you're just god awful. So I go to battle and I banish one deco. The man's only on one deco, which again is just god awful. So I set my other deco and I set MST because I know there's no way he could pro storm me because he's god awful. I keep telling him he's god awful, I keep saying it, but it's just the truth. So he draws into a sork. I'm like, okay, now he's got the perfect dark and light. Woohoo, let's go. Um, he drops the Sork on me and banishes all of this shit. And I think about it and I just say, okay, whatever, you got me, screw it. You got my Sangin, cool, cool beans. And now he has no monsters and he's playing this garbage ass card, Premature Burial. No one plays that shit anymore, but he's playing it because he's just the best. And he banishes my Sangin and then he just has to pass. I draw into Mirror Force, which is pretty nice here. And whenever he does decide to attack, which will hopefully happen soon, but I don't really know. So I decide just to flip the deco here and draw one. I draw to a jar of greed, which is pretty nice. I set the spy, I set the mirror force, and I set the jar of greed, and I just pass. He draws to another sork. He tries to banish my deco, and I just decide to book a moon it, put it face down, just to get a little more advantage on this guy. And he just passes. I draw into Regeki Break, which is pretty nice here. So I decide to just MST the back row now and say screw it. It is a Solemn Judgment. I flip Spy first, grab one in attack mode. And then I flip Deco. I draw into Night Assailant. And then I draw a Greed into Breaker, just trying to go through my deck some. And I decide just to set Regeki Break and I set Night Assailant and I just pass. He draws to another Solemn Judgment here. So I'm like, all right, that's cool, I guess. He decides just to banish one of my spies. I'm like, okay, I can't do nothing about it. He sets Solemn Judgment and just passes. I draw into my Chaos Sword, but I have no Light and Dark here. So I decide to just summon Breaker here and pop his back row. He does not chain it. I flip the Nidus out and I pop his shit here. And I go to battle and I say swing, bada, 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 swing. Probably misplayed. A little bit, but I was actually in a really bad spot, but I did not think I was going to win this game here in a minute, but Karma ended up coming back on his ass for that fucking cheating shit. He thought I was cheating because I shuffled again. Like, gives a shit if I shuffled again if you dust shooted me. Like, did it really? Like, I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to check the fucking log. I didn't feel like it. So he draws in the Exiled Force here. He summons the Exiled. Tries to go to battle. I feel like this is his only play, so I do decide just to Mirror Force this. And then he premature burials, and then I decide I think this is his only play again, and decide just to regeki break this. Probably shouldn't have did this, but it's fine. I still have Buku advantage on him, and then of course the other random card in his hand because I know he has two thunder dragons is a sort, so he gets the banish, and he banishes I think my knight is selling here. I want to say, which I'm like, okay, you got me. Knight is has gone. And then, of course, I draw into a Thunder Dragon, which really sucks, but it really wouldn't have mattered. So I'm really glad I did do that, actually, because I couldn't really get a Dark off the field, and he would have still had the Sork anyways. So this works out. I discard the Thunder Dragon, grab two more, and then decide just to switch everything to defense here and just pass, just waiting on something. He's at 2,800, pretty low. He draws into Swords of Reveal and Light, which is just a meme card. Like, I don't know why you put that in against Turbo. Or maybe he main decks it. He probably does, because he main decks Premature Burial. Just god-awful. Hate to say it. He banishes my Spy with Sork. I'm like, okay, you got me. And then he plays Swords of Reveal and Light and just passes. 
I draw into card destruction, which is a really nice draw here. Going to draw a couple cards here. I fire the card destruction. He draws into a Dimension Fusion, which is actually pretty funny. I draw into Snatch Steel and Chaos Orc. So I decide to drop the Chaos Orc on him here and just vanish his shit. And I decide just to set the Snatch Steel and I just pass. He draws into a Spirit Reaper, which is just, again, a meme card. He hits me with the Dimension Fusion here. So I'm just like, okay, I guess. He's at 800 life points now, and it's just pretty much a wrap here. Because he can't kill me this turn. I'm going to get Monster Stew on the field. I get Sangin, and I get a Spy. He puts both his Sorks in defense. He banishes my Sangin, and then banishes my Sork. I'm like, okay, this is fine. Sure. Um, he goes to battle, hits the other two. Okay. I draw into Regeki Break, which is pretty dead at the moment. I decide to just fire Snatch Steel on the Sork. And I just banish the shit out of the other Sork. So it's like, what are you going to do now with your swords and your Double Thunder Dragon and Kaiku on the field? Just banish the shit out of your shit. Set Regeki Break, and I just pass. He does... Draw into Faith, so it's like, okay, he knows he's got this shit now. He drew Faith. He's got it. He does gain a 1,000, putting him at 2,800. And I draw into Ring of Motherfucking Destruction. And that is all she wrote, folks. Because I just set this ring. I banished the Kaiku. And I set the ring, and I say, DP, activate Ring of Destruction, target my Chaos Sork, Unless you have Book of Moon, GG, no re, that's what you get for fucking cheating game two. Your trash ass deck got shitted on. That's just the way it is. You're so fucking good. Blazed and dazed. You're amazing. That's what happens. You top deck faith again. You almost came back on me. You almost hit me with a defusion again to come back. Thanks for defusion and 2,000 light points. That's what you get. Ha 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 ha. Check out my bazaar. Something, something, something. But, um, yeah. Everybody, that was the match there. Um, I didn't cheat at all. I just didn't look at the log to see if I shuffled. I wish I wouldn't have shuffled because maybe I ought to do something better. And, like, I'll just have to start looking at logs more often. And that is a problem with me. Like, the dust shoot shit, like, not remembering to shuffle. When you smoke as much weed as I smoke or have smoked in my day, you can't remember literally, like, five seconds ago. Like, you just forget everything. There's nothing... You can't, like, maybe you can remember it, but I literally, honestly, just fucking forget if I shuffle or not. In that situation, I could have shuffled ten fucking times, like I said, and it would not have fucking mattered. It didn't change anything because he dust shooted me, and I just wanted to make sure I did shuffle. So, wish I would have checked the log. Maybe I would have drew something different. We'll never know, though. But it doesn't matter because I got him. I've won 11 in a row. Let's fucking go. Hit the like. Hit the sub. Have a good day or night. Peace out.